Can you hear me okay? Yep. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Oh, and to you. Far so good. Like that. Hi, Jay. Good morning. How's it going? Good. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Nance. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, I got your email. I'll work on it. Okay. Okay. Let me know if you have questions. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, don't over. I honestly think that's very good for me because I need accountability. So thank you. We all do. We all do, Nance. We all do. <laughs> um, no problem, no problem. All right, guys. Okay. I'm gonna um go ahead and mute you. Okay, if you need to unmute yourselves anytime. Let me know if you need some modifications this morning. Some of you might be your first day doing this workout. <clears throat> Obviously, make sure you guys let me know if there's any pain or if you got questions. Let me know. All right. Okay. Let's let's um start on our belly this morning. We're gonna start on our belly. Alright. On our belly, let's just start here. So let's start up onto our forearms and our elbows. And um, we're gonna just reach forward. So maybe forward, give me six. Maybe each in. Okay, we're going to go rotational reach. So let's just get that rotational reach away. Six. Then we're going to go six scorpions, guys. Last one, we're going to take it to the whole body. We're going to reach out to the side, straight arm, and then we'll move the body instead of the arm. Six on each side. We're all one side. So Okay. 
Then we're going to go to our back, guys. So once you're finished, let's roll onto our back. We're going to get into our glutes. Let's get our arms up over here. Okay, we're gonna do those too. So I'm gonna just lift the hips, glutes away from the floor, right? Big reach, and then I'm gonna pull the arms down when I bring the hips down. Give me 15. Moderate speed, guys. Don't go too fast. Okay, we're gonna do that one push through those heels We're gonna do one more hip up here, guys. We're gonna do eight on each leg. I'm gonna take the hips up. I'm gonna march, straighten that leg, and I'm gonna bring it back down. I'm gonna keep my hips up in the air. If you want, you can bring them all the way back down each breath. Taking heel to the ceiling, pulling my toes down towards my face. Just so I get a little stretch back there. Hamstring cap, each leg. And then if you guys can grab a long band for me. We're gonna grab a long band and we're gonna do some of our leg lowers to get a little more of those hamstrings for later. So I'm gonna arch, or I mean, uh, put that band on, arch with one foot, keep that leg up, keep that leg straight. Other leg, I'm just gonna move up and down. As low as you feel comfortable. You don't have to go all the way down to the floor if you don't want to. Give me eight reps on each leg. All right, guys, once you're finished, we're going to come up to our feet in a standing position. Okay, we're going to do four of these. So, hand walk out to a Spider Man. Spider Man can be done with knees down or knees up. Knees down a little easier, knees up a little harder. So, I'm going to soften my knees. And I'm going to walk those hands out to put it up to the easiest variation. Guys, go knees down, take it out, each side. Okay? And you're going to walk it back in big foot. Or you're going to keep those knees off the floor, but stay in that position that you bring them foot out over the middle. Back, big foot. Four reps. At your own speed. Just gonna do one more thing after this, guys, for before we do our self-love. 
If you want to do ankle load, you can do that before front load. But you're going to give me six on each side. I'm just going to slowly reach back down to the floor. Use your bar or use something for support. I'm going to take a big step back. Down into that lunge position, and I'm going to rock forward. If you guys want, you can put a couple of pads or pillows under your knee. Then I'm going to stand and repeat. Single leg round, reach. Big step backwards. Then I'm just going to rock forward into that ankle knees, and I'm going to bring it back. Six each side. Slow, guys, slow as you reach down to the floor on that single leg. Please let me know if there's pain. Right. Yeah. There you go. Couple hours out. Yeah, exactly. I went up to Brunsboro, three mile road. <laughs> I realized that halfway through. That's good. Guys, when you finish that single leg round reach to your lunge, right, to that hip flexor, hip quad rock, let's start our self love. If you want to do some calf raises, you could sprinkle those in there to be Alice raises. Anything else? Shoulder load. Let me know if you need. To stretch out something or get in somewhere that you're not sure how. Take it slow if you're really stiff. If you guys find that you're cramping up, Make sure you get some water hydration in as we go along. That will help with your cramping. Locations on your back. Anyway, you want throw those arms overhead. Then you got the spinal waves, guys, after your overhead reaches, spinal waves, maybe some wrist stretches if your arms, elbows, shoulders, or wrists feel high. Or
I'm gonna give you guys about one minute. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab some dumbbells or some hammer curls or bicep curls and some side delt raises. So we might need two sets of weights, a little bit lighter and a little bit heavier. Our reps, so you know, um, and I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. Our reps are 10 to 15. That helps you choose a weights. Okay, guys, and I am gonna have you do three sets this morning unless this is the very first time that you've done this workout or you're sore and stiff and tired and you just can't and don't want to. If you can, give me three sets of these. They're uh, light reps. Don't go too heavy. So first one, then you guys will you'll start your sets. Hammer curl. If that hurts, just give me a different position. Hammer curl, palms are gonna go in and I'm gonna pull off and up. Okay, so 10 to 15. Then you guys are gonna give me a pinkies up. So my palms are in, my pinkies are up. They do not have to stay there. That is just where they're gonna land. And you'll give me your side delt raise. If that hurts, give me a regular position. Out, in, whatever. You can also do that with a bent arm if that feels better. So you can go straight, side delt raise, pinkies up, palms back. Or you could do that with a bent elbow. Up to three sets, 10 to 15, hammer purple. You guys can do these seated or standing, whichever feels better. Just give me that nice big stretch at the bottom. Straight arms, pull. Elbow should stay sort of by your torso or in front, never really come behind you. Same thing, guys. You can do those side belt raises, seated. Bent arm or straight. If there's pain, switch your hand position. Don't force that range of motion. Slow to moderate speed. Got it, Miss. You're not sure about those side note raises, bent or straight. Try it out. Try it out, Beth. Try not to do too much of a shrug. Keep it down and low, right in the arms. Side belt. Once you guys finish, just grab a treat for me. Your heart rate's probably not too high, but if it is, just let it come down. You have jump squats or squats coming up next. Let's start those with that heart rate down. Great job, guys. Please let me know if there's any pain. Thank you. 
Three sets, guys, and then rest. Or up to three. Yep, there you go, Nance. Yep, just think about lifting sort of with your arms. Yep, you got it. It's a little awkward with the bed arm. Takes my brain a little longer to figure it out. And you guys just take a breather rest. Try not to shrug. As you do that last set, it might be hard. Don't lift up. Then up with the arms. On our next set, guys, we're not gonna use any weights. It's gonna be a body weight set. Um, mostly lower body, a little bit of arm. I am going to give you a choice, though, on this, or options, I should say. You can either give me up to 10 body weight squats or 10 jump squats, okay, when you're ready. You don't have to jump if that doesn't feel good. Just give me 10 squats or 10 jump squats. Once you guys finish those squats, Okay, we're going to do one squat just down into our knees. And then you guys can pretty much do a, a very show thing. You can drop and sit on your hip. You could just take a foot through. You could take it all the way through to your crown. So as high as you can add a hip up. Okay, you do not have to do all of them. If you want to just stick with the crap, or I mean the bees, stay there. If you want to add in a hip drop, you could add in a hip drop or an under switch to a beast. I will show you that again. Beast, hip drop. I just rotate each side, drop my hip. You can take your leg through. You go all the way through. You can drive your hips up. Okay, you're going to give me 10 body weight squats or jump squats and three beats to hip drop or to crap. Two sets, just two at your own speed. 10 squats, you guys got to go. Lean with your butt, let your knees bend and come forward. Three squat. To beast, to hip drop, or under switch, to crap. Don't overthink it. It's Monday. Three, three beast. Yep. Just three. Yep. Okay, Yep. Walk it out. Rotate. Drop the hip. Two sets, moderate speed, guys, grab a drink, maybe in between sets or after. Beautiful beast. Slow transition, big push to the hands, guys. Big push to the hands and the feet. Take a nice rest, guys. When you're done, grab some water, whatever you got to drink. Okay, so as you guys are sitting up, this workout can be done in two. Average, you can go through average. And 
So A1 and A2 are both lower body movements, and then B1 and B2 are upper body movements. We do this as two lowers together. Or you can take one A at the side, one B, and the upper body is the lower. Picture on the leash, but I'll go over it. Last week, people did it as a all right, guys. So before we do our first strength set, I am going to uh, just go over this a little bit. This workout can be done two ways, really three, but I'm going to start with two today. We started with one last week. We'll go with two today, okay? So some of you have noticed on A1 and A2, they are both lower body movements, okay? We have glutes and then we have quads, okay? On B1 and B2, we have two upper body movements, pullovers and seated rows. This can be done two ways. You guys can do it as it is. Okay, so you can do your single leg hip up. You're gonna hit the glutes. Okay, then you're both sides, both legs. Then you're gonna come up and you're gonna give me your short stance or regular split squats. Okay, each leg. About 10 to 15 reps, okay? And you're gonna repeat that up to three sets. Okay. If you want to do this a little bit differently, you could pick your A1, which is single leg hip ups. Both sides. Then you could do a lower or upper body movement. You could do your pullovers. On your back, on a foam roller or a bench. Okay, so you can either do two lower body movements together, up to three sets, then we'll go to our upper body. Or if you guys want to choose a different variety, you could do a lower body and an upper body from that B1 or B2. I hope that makes sense. Please let me know if you have questions. You could do it either way, okay? 10 to 20 on your single leg squats. Those could be elevated if you need to. 10 to 15 on your split squats or your pullovers. Okay, this is totally kind of a pick your own adventure type of thing. Vanessa, you got it. Just feel those quads. Let me know, guys, if you got questions. Okay, that first exercise is really going to hit your glutes hard. Maybe not hard at first set, but you'll get there. We do split squats two different ways, okay? Split squat to hit quads, we're going to think about being more upright, knees over toes. I cue you guys a lot to lean forward when you're doing your lunges or your split squats. That is gonna get more of your butt. So if you wanna go all butt, lean forward. Get your quads, think lean back, let the knee travel over the toes as long as there's no pain. You can make that short stance split squat harder if anyone needs it. You can take your back leg and elevate it. I know somebody's curious about how to make this harder. You guys either got up to three sets single leg hip up and your short stance split squats. If those split squats hurt, you could do regular squats or lunges, absolutely. 
There are modifications, you guys. Big push, big push through the front foot on those split squats. Use something for support if you need it. Two to three sets, depending on how you're feeling and what workout this might be for you. We can always go to B1 and B2 and do our upper body set. Some of you guys might be ready for your second set. Upper body. Let's give that lower body a little rest. Um, so if you are ready, you're not. Well, listen to me. You can do your pullovers and then we can do some rows. So on your back on a bench, I'm gonna show you on my back, but I prefer a roller or a bench. Okay, one dumbbell, straight arm. We did these in our last phase, right? Big reach. Stretching out the lats, pull it forward. Then you move the arms, don't bend the elbows. A little bit different than our triceps, okay? So if you're ready, you got 10 to 15 pullovers. And then any, pretty much any row variation, okay? You guys could do as written, you have a seated row, 15 to 25. Just working the mid back muscle, the upper. You can sit on a chair, a bench, you can do these standing. Anchored on a wall or on any. You guys are finishing up step one. Don't rush. You got plenty of time. As we move to step two, you're going to start with your pullovers 10 to 15 reps. Slow on the out. You guys can bring that dumbbell back fast if you need to, but slow as you bring it overhead. <laughs> Just let me know if there's any pain, guys, in the shoulders. You got to bring it up, bring those shoulders back. Quick, please, little girl. Heavier leg. Point 
You got it, guys. 15 to 25 of your rows. Just staying mid back, pull elbow back, right? But then shoulders just a little bit. Big stretch forward. Nice, feel a nice little burn, sort of thoracic spine, mid back to upper back. Any way you guys want. You could sit on a bench, a ball, a chair, the floor. As you guys take your dumbbells over your head for your pullovers, give your core a little squeeze, guys. Create tension in your abs and your glutes, especially as it gets into the highest position overhead and back. And up to three sets, guys, rest as needed. Take a rest wherever you want. Guys, we also need to do two guys before all the beds. That makes it feel better on the back, right? I realize I'm going to do it. Or I can come in and do it. Or I can come in and do it. Or I can come in and do it. No, it's fine. You can't do it. So you can come in and do it. Shay, good. You got it, Nancy. Good, you guys. Keep that core tight in that bent over position. That's good. You got it, Vanessa. Vanessa, you could let your hips dip down a little bit if you wanted to in that up position. If that felt good, you could let your hips come down, or your glutes come down a little bit. Yep. If that feels okay in your back, you can do that. That might actually give you a bigger stretch. Don't do it if it hurts, though. Yeah. Great job, you guys. Rest as needed. Up to three sets. That is up to you. We do have one more set to go. You got it, Vanessa. Good job, Nance. Good, Shay. Make sure you breathe in. Cornelia, are you ready for the last one? Okay. So, all one side first. Okay. Um, try and get a little blue and a little pot. Okay, so side lunge, 10 to 20, if you want to. So you can do more reps, no weight, okay? Work up to a higher rep range, might get your heart rate up. Or you could go lower reps, 10 with some weight. That's sort of up to you, okay? And then with that, we have a single arm arm press. But if you guys, it hurts my brain a little. So you guys want to do this bilateral, you can, okay? Um, Arnold press looks like this. I'm gonna do it both. We're gonna pull up, we're gonna rotate, and we're gonna push. Drop one. Okay, and I'm gonna go really slow. You guys can do this much faster. 
Okay, it's not a curl to press. It's an upright row with external rotation, and then we press. Okay, you guys don't have to go that slow. I actually like to go a little lighter and a little faster. That is a cue. Again, you guys can do both arms if you want and make it set a little faster. Both movements are unilateral. So 10 to 20 of both movements. Lateral lunge, all one side first. And then all one side of your arm will press up to 20 or bilateral. Totally up to you guys. Up to three sets. Okay, yeah, don't grip too hard. Little light grip. Got it, guys. A little knee bend, right? We did the quad, and then we got that hip hinge. So think about also, right? Pushing that butt back. How you doing, Brady? Doing good? Yep, you got it for you. Yep, elbows. Rotate, yes. Well, oh, Jess, she's great. She's great at these, yes. Good. Once you guys get it, you can go a little faster if you want. You don't have to go. So on that last, last set, up to three, lateral lunge, okay? And if you guys want to make this harder, take a bigger step. Much bigger. You can let that foot roll up. Okay, that would be a hard variation. You can also add dumbbells and weight if you want to. You got it, Jess. Use those legs if you need to. 10 to 20. On your Arnold press net, if you want to do that seated, you could also do that seated. Or single arms, bilateral. It is 10 to 20. I'll repeat that for you guys. So you do a little upright row, and then I rotate, then I push. Got this, guys. No rush. Make sure you are resting, though. Give me a little hydration. You got it, Vanessa. Yep, thing up. You got it. 10 to 20. Okay. All uh, what side first on your lunge. On these lateral lunges, they're great for glutes, but we get a little more of our side glutes as well as those muscles on the inside of those legs. And 10 to 20, guys. Whichever to a burn, or if you want to go heart rate on this and get your heart rate up, you could do it that way. Yep, there you go, Bree. Got it, Shay. Yep. You got it. Choose your butt. Use your core. If you need to, you guys want to go heavy on this, use your legs. Give me a little push press. Don't forget to connect the abs with your glutes. Let them help your upper body out a little. Okay. 
Yep. Good lunge with you guys. You got butt back, knee forward, just a little. Use those legs on those Arnold presses if you need to. Little push. Yeah, Cornelia. Thank you. Have a great day. But high five. You have a good one. You as well. Bye. Got it, guys. You got plenty of time. Give yourself a rest if you need it. Let that heart rate come down a little bit. Maybe before you do your second or last set of your Arnold presses. Bye. 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 Have a good day. Yeah. You got it, guys. Get that arm up. Yeah, that shoulder push. Use your legs. Particularly on that. Not feeling well, I'm feeling Well, I get your step. Yeah. No pain. Moving down. Yeah. Got it, guys. You got it. Get it hard. Get it heavy. Use the legs. Use the legs. Let them help you out. Two to three sets. Like what's the Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great job, guys. A lot of reps here on these lunges and these presses. Good job. Good job. Hope you have a good day. Can't wait to see your pictures. Hold on, I can't hear you.
Take care. See you later. Okay, you take care too. I'll see okay. you uh, soon. Okay. Am I going to see you tomorrow? Tomorrow night? Yep. I'm going to see you tomorrow night. All right. Then... See you in person. Right. Okay. Have a good okay. day. You too. Bye. Bye. High five. Everything feel okay? Good. Awesome. You have a good day. Okay. Breathe. High five. Thanks. Okay. How you feel okay? Yeah. 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 This is my, I did it uh, last Monday. So. Great. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Let me know if you have any questions about it, okay? I will. Have a good one. You, will I see you Wednesday? Uh, I think so. I think in person on Wednesday. Okay. I'll see you. I see you. Bye, Shay. Have a good day. Good bye. What's, what's up? Um, do you want to come at seven? Seven yeah. more? Let's I have see. a. I have facial at 11, so that's perfect. Oh, yeah, that'll be great. You'll have enough time to get that redness out. <laughs> if you need to switch it, so eight works, but I, anything. No. Seven, okay. eight, um, Keith is away, Mel. Is there this? Okay, perfect. All right. Out, please, so. yeah. You at seven. Everything feel okay? Yeah, uh, that um, hamstring curl off the bench where he tilted the bar and I had to pull. My calves, I was like, I mean, I felt, I mean, I was totally fine, but like that, that totally got me. That got like, you less. So you've been sore since? Uh, yesterday I was, my calves were still sore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I felt it like it wasn't like, it's the awesome kind of sore from KDR. It's not yeah. like. But it was just surprised you how sore your calves were. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Hamstrings. What's that? Versus hamstrings. Yeah, well, I, it was the whole back of my leg, but it was the first time that I really, considering how many, you know, ankle raises and all that stuff, I was really surprised. I was like, I mean, it felt great. Yeah, it wasn't like RVC sore where it was like something wrong. Something I can't wrong. Hold on, let me get that. Okay. All right. So I'll see well, you. The next time you do, we probably won't be as sore. Great. No, no, no. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I'm going to. The challenge. I'm on it tomorrow. All right. See ya. Thanks, James. Bye, Shane. Bye. Bye.